Alrighty, let's take a look at this Buck 110 with a drop point blade. Real quick, it weighs 7.2 ounces and the blade length is 3.75 inches. So the same size and weight as the ordinary clip point Buck 110. This is considered a web special, goes for $59.99 on Buck's website. Um, it is listed the same price as the ordinary Buck 110 on the website. And I think that's more expensive than we're mostly used to. But prices have gone up over the years as we all know you can still find you know new bucks or even close to brand new bucks for 40 or 50 dollars on ebay or different websites but i saw this drop point and i had to have it it looks really good and i thought it was a good change up to the classic buck 110. Um, it does have 420 hc steel bucks famous um, for their 420 hc steel and their heat treat um, just like any other buck, very comfortable in the hand, but I did notice that this one does not have a nail nick. So you can see right here, I have my, my classic buck 110. I did add a thumb stud, but it has a nail nick and this new drop point knife does not have one. Um, you have more than enough, uh, finger purchase to pull the knife out and I had no trouble getting it into the locking position. It comes with a nice black leather sheath with button and stitch construction. It has that nice emblem on top, belt loop and 110 at the bottom. It is made in Mexico, which I have no issue with. It is a very good quality sheath and Buck does not try to hide that it's made in Mexico. Um, it is a big upgrade from the nylon sheath I got with the clip point buck 110 in or back in 2015 i got it i think in walmart for like 28 bucks it was a pretty good deal back then um, but i do prefer the leather sheath all the way it looks better it feels better and it's the sheath that originally came with the buck 110 i did want to point out that these two knives have different woods so the newer buck 110 the drop point it has the Krella cam genuine ebony wood and they source it from taylor guitars the older buck 110 they used to use a, a they called it diamond wood which it was a resin treated wood because um, um, they used to the original buck 110s they use ebony but i think in the 80s or 90s they stopped using it because uh, they couldn't source it ethically but now they're using ebony again recently um, i don't know the exact dates when they started to use ebony but it is nice to see they got back to their roots. But the action on this knife is very good. The one I got, um, the opening and closing mechanism, very smooth. You can see that dropping action, so no resistance. And this is right out of the box. I didn't even clean it. This knife has a solid lock on it with no blade play. Uh, Buck 110s are famous for being very durable and they've been taking a beating for the last 60 years since 1963 when this knife was invented or you know brought into production it did come in this ordinary yellow box nothing really special it was made in may of 2022 i was trying to show you on camera but it couldn't get a good angle but nothing special about the packaging i'm not a big box guy i'll probably throw it out all right, so now I'm just gonna show you some footage of me using the knife and me um, putting the knife in the sheath in and out some different ways. Not very exciting, but after this, I'll show you some footage of me cutting random stuff or stabbing a log. I was pretty excited to use this knife and just to cut random things around the house. Um, I, we can all relate that getting a new knife is like Christmas and you just can't wait to open it and use it and cut random things you don't normally cut. Um, or don't need to be cut. Hope you enjoy this review. Um, like, subscribe if you want more traditional knife footage. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Enjoy.